I posted this photo to Instagram a couple days ago and a question that I'm often asked is how I get my lawn to be so green. So today we're going to talk about two things that I believe are the most important part in making your lawn the greenest one in the neighborhood. First we're going to talk about the frequency of mowing and also mowing at the correct height for the grass type that you have. Too often I see people let their grass get very overgrown and then they go ahead and try to cut it really low all at once and this causes a lot of stress on the grass and it's definitely not going to make it green long term. So most likely if your grass is growing and it's the prime growing season for the grass type that you have, then you're going to be needing to mow at least once a week and sometimes in the spring or fall or if you have a warm season grass in the middle of summer when things are really thriving then you're going to have to be mowing possibly more than once a week. We're going to want to follow something that's called the one-third rule and this is going to mean that we want to cut off no more than one-third of the grass blade at a time. So this is going to mean mowing frequently at some parts of the year in order to accomplish this. In addition to that mowing frequency, we want to make sure that we're mowing our grass at the correct height for the type of grass that it is. Now in general, this is going to mean mowing most things taller, but there are some warm season grasses that actually need to be mowed shorter. So I'm going to put a link in the description so you can check out what type of grass you might have and what height it should be cut at. Now for cool season grass like I have, you're going to notice a big difference if you mow this taller, especially during the warmer parts of the season. I'll show you a little example here of my yard mowed taller and frequently compared to the yard next door, which is typically not mowed as frequently and is mowed a lot shorter, causing a lot of stress to the grass. So if you have that cool season grass and you want to mow it tall, I pretty much would just go as tall as you can go without the grass starting to lay over and cause some matting on the grass. So somewhere between three and four inches. If you can get it up to that four inch mark and it works okay, then that's great. For me, I'm typically between three and three and a half inches or so. The last thing related to mowing also is just make sure that your blades are sharp on your mower. This is going to be an important aspect of mowing as well just to make sure that the grass is cut as cleanly as possible. Just with those techniques alone of proper mowing frequently and at the correct height for the grass type that you have, you're going to see some major improvement in your grass overall. The second most important factor to a green lawn is proper fertilization. This means properly fertilizing at the right times of the year, as well as fertilizing multiple times a year. For warm season grasses, if you're living down south, that would mean fertilizing during the warmer parts of the year when the grass is thriving. And for cool season grass like I have up north here, then that would mean pretty much the exact opposite. You want to be fertilizing in the spring and in the fall, with the fall being the absolute most important time for fertilization of cool season grass. I found that I've been able to improve my lawn the most with proper fall applications of fertilizer for my cool season grass, and this is multiple applications. The grass plant is going to store this over the winter, over the dormant period, and then it's going to come out in the spring and your lawn will be the greenest in your neighborhood, I can guarantee you that, before everyone else who did not fertilize. So we could get very technical on what all the fertilizer numbers mean and what the best kinds are and all of those things, but if you just grab a lawn fertilizer from the store and put it down at the proper time of year for the grass type that you have, You'll be just fine and you will see great results. If you're looking for more lawn tips, I hope you'll check out more videos on my channel. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you next time.